Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are doing something new and fun and I hope you guys really like it. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the um, New Look Fall Collection. I've chosen three patterns from that collection and I am going to be showing you guys some ready to wear inspiration based on these patterns and where you can find the fabric to make a garment similar to the inspiration picture. I hope that makes sense. Um, so we're going to kick things off with new look 6588. It's this adorable kind of like pullover. Um, it's unisex, meaning you can make one for you and one for your beau or brother or anyone. Um, and I think it's really cute and really comfortable. Um, if you remember from the, um, first impression video, I was getting kind of like nantucket -y vibes from this. So I decided to see what I could find online for inspiration and came across this little gem on Amazon of all places. So Amazon is selling clothes. Most of them come from China. Most of them are obviously not made very well. There's all kinds of issues with fast fashion and all of that jazz. So I don't tend to shop at Amazon, but they do have some really cute um, fashion inspiration. So um, I, I do like this version. I like the um, kind of monochromatic, but uh, color blocking that they've done. There are other options for colors. You can see those here. Here are some more color options. Um, but all of them have this kind of like base beige kind of tone to it. Um, after reading through some of the details, I ascertained that this was probably some kind of minky because um, everyone in the reviews and even kind of in the description here was talking about how incredibly soft it was. So I was like, well, that definitely has to be minky. So I found some minky Sherpa. How perfect is that? So I, this is all on fabric.com. This is the Shannon Minky Luxe Cuddle Sherpa collection. And here are all the colors that are available. Um, so you could start with this base um, ivory color here, and then for the contrast, you could do a darker navy, you could do kind of like a tone on tone with this um, taupe color, um, or I think the pink and the taupe would be really cute together as well. Um, but to get the look, you really just need to take your pattern, cut it off at the waist, um, cut off the sleeve and create two separate pattern pieces so that you can get this um, kind of color blocked version of your pullover. Super easy, super cute, um, and super cozy and comfortable. Okay, next up is this new look little jumper. Um, I chose this one because I thought it was very basic, um, and I thought the interpretation of it was a little bit literal, so I wanted to try and find um, some inspiration that could get us out of this kind of like obvious plaid jumper situation, and squealed, almost literally, <laughs> whenever I found this guy. Look how cute this is. I absolutely love how they've styled it with the um, white button down underneath versus the um, turtleneck. And just thought it looked very classy, very rich, very expensive. Um, I just truly fell in love with it. It is $332 from ASOS, if you're interested. Um, and... After doing some digging, found out that it is probably some kind of cotton jacquard. So I set out to find some options for fabrics and 
ultimately ended up, I tried to find a floral, didn't have a lot of luck there. There are, I should say, there are a ton of floral jacquards. I was trying to honor kind of like the mod feel of this with the colors and thinking more about fall than spring. So I didn't go with like a traditional jacquard with the metallic threads and super shiny and all of that. I decided that I was going to go more for kind of the mod fall feel. So I headed to Elliott Berman Textiles where I found these guys. This is a houndstooth design. Um, that's what a much larger swatch of it looks like. It has the orange and the navy and the gray. And I think that would look really cute with a white button down. Or actually, it's not gray. It's kind of like a light blue. But anyways, um, and I think that this uh, combination of substrates is closer to what the inspiration has. If you look at this and then zoom in, you can see it's got kind of like a lot of texture to it. So that's also what I really liked about this. Um, the content is close to our inspiration with it being cotton, rayon, polyamide, and wool. And our inspiration has uh, kind of like a polyester, cotton, or uh, sorry, acrylic, cotton, poly, polyamide, and metallic fibers. So um, the only real difference there is that um, this has some rayon in it. And you know I love rayon. So rayon's just going to kind of give it kind of like a silkier, smoother hand. So, and the price is only $32 a yard. It's 60 inches, very wide. Um, you know, most of your jacquards, especially European jacquards are going to be expensive. I saw some Chanel ones at Mood that were like, oh no, no, they were from here. They were from LA Beerman, but they were like in the $55 range. Um, but I think for a jacquard, you really just need to pay for the quality. And this pattern doesn't really take a lot of fabric. So you can see 60 inches, you only need two yards. Or actually for C, which is the short one, you only need one and, what does that say? Three eighths? So not even that much, one and a half yards. So all in for like 45 bucks. Uh, certainly much cheaper than this guy. So there's my fabric choice for that inspo. Love that one. Okay, next up is the New Look 6582. These are the side slit pants. Um, these have an elasticized waist, and if you remember from the first impression video, I did like these pants. I know they're very on trend. You can find a ton of side slit pants out there these days, but I just thought that they didn't really sell them that well in terms of like every day. This is certainly a holiday look, which is really cute, but um, I wanted to see what it would look like in an everyday kind of way. So I found these. Um, these are rayon um, elasticized waist pants with the knee slit. Here's a closer look of that. So um, I loved these because A, pajamas, <laughs> right? I mean, they're going to be really, really comfortable. Um, but B, I thought they were really stylish. I mean, they just paired them here with like a white shirt um, tucked in, but you could do like a wide variety of different tops. And I think it would look really, really cute. So here's the fabric that I found. I wanted to try and honor the uh, black and white kind of main body. And then this pop of color on the border print. So I found this. Um, this is from fabric.com. It is a rayon chalet, 100% rayon, very lightweight. So it's going to give you that really nice drape on the pant. And we have this kind of pop of color with the paisley on the bottom um, with some visual interest in the different kinds of bands. But I do want to point out there are a ton of different options. So we've got this rayon crepe. Um, this is also a border print. It's all black and white though with no um, contrast on the hem, which is fine. And then there's also this one that I really liked. This is a rayon crepe as well. And it's kind of got the red blended in. 
um, throughout the main part of the fabric and then the border print is a little bit more subtle. So a few different options there. They're very, very affordable, um, all around $7 a yard. Um, the pattern does not take a lot of fabric. Um, let's see, B is, well, depending on what size you are, anywhere between, let's just call it two yards. So you can make these pants for like 14 bucks. Not bad at all. So those are my three picks from New Look's fall fabric collection um, with ready to wear inspiration to help you guys figure out new and fun, cute ways to wear these three patterns. Let me know what you think about them. Let me know if you um, like my choices. I hope you do. <laughs> um, and let me know which one of these you would make and wear. Uh, until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye.